Now in this part of the question, we've got to find the angle ANB, this one here, which I've marked on. I've also marked in, you'll notice, the radius which we got from part B, the length was 13 over 2. So we've got the two lengths here, 13 over 2. And we've got the chord length, 12 units. So how do we get this angle here? Well, there's several ways that we could do it. We could possibly concentrate on this right angle triangle here and work out the half angle and then double it at the end. And we can do that by simple trigonometry. But I'm not going to do it that way. What I'm going to do is use the cosine rule because I've got three sides of the triangle and it allows me to find this angle directly. Just as a reminder of the cosine rule, let's just do it up here for you, that if you have a triangle, non-right angle triangle say, and in the conventional way if the angles are A, B and C and you've got the sides labelled little a, little b, little c, then it can be shown that the cosine of say angle A is equal to the sum of the squares that surround the angle, so that's b squared plus c squared, minus the opposite side to the angle you want, so that's a squared, all divided by twice the product of the two adjacent sides here, b and c. So it's this formula that I'm going to use to work out the angle a and b. So doing that, okay, I can say that the cosine of angle a and b equals the sum of the squares of the two adjacent sides of the angle, so that's 13 over 2, all squared, plus another 13 over 2, all squared, minus the opposite side to the angle squared, so that's 12 squared, and that's all divided by twice the product of the two adjacent sides here, so that's twice 13 over 2 times another 13 over 2. Okay, now if you work that out on your calculator, if you work it out as an exact fraction, it turns out to be minus 119 over 169. And then to get angle ANB, we just need to inverse cos that value of minus 119 over 169. And if you're in degrees mode on your calculator, you should find that what you get is 134.760 and so on degrees. And since we're asked to give angle A and B to the nearest 0 0.1 of a degree, then that's going to be 134.8 degrees to the nearest, let's just put in here, nearest 0 0.1 of a degree. So we had to actually show that and so We've done that here. Okay, so that brings us now to the end of this part of the question.